Well, time for another fishing tip. Hopefully you've picked up some advice on how to catch those fish. Today, Ray and Mandy let you know how to release those fish safely back into the water so you can catch them again. Tonight we're going to talk a little bit about the importance of catch and release. Take that picture if you want to take it and show you how that really a fish should be released so they're not injured. It's very important to take care of these animals. It's a very important resource. So Mandy's going to show you when she catches a fish, how she takes and handles it and then how she releases it. As we introduced this piece, uh, timing is everything with these fish. Getting them in quickly, getting them back to the water quickly, and getting that perfect photo while you're still at it. Let me just get this guy up here. We'll show you how it's done. Proper handling of a fish. Fish like this, especially with large mouth, simply place your thumb, grip together, get that hook out as quick as possible. Because these fish cannot breathe when they're out of water, obviously. Slide the hook out. Make sure that you're not dropping the fish, you're not taking that protective fish slime off. If you want to take a photo, simply support the belly of that fish and smile. When you're releasing the fish, there again, it's really, really important to be super gentle. Don't chuck them over the side. Simply lower those fish down and release them gently back into the water so they can swim off to be caught again another day. For Lakeland News, I'm Ray Gildaw with the Nisswa Guides League. And I'm Mandy Eric, the Bass and Biologist. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.